Arabic with our Arabic. Okay. So as mentioned, we are we will be doing Arabic. Off a bit lesson. Okay. Right. Uh, we will be doing Arabic for the second uh, period. And so the first period will be Fake because we have finished our Akida. And we'll be doing Arabic for the second period. Okay, for the Arabic, is I'm supposed to introduce to you basic Arabic, right? Inshallah. So that next semester, when you go to year two, uh, next year lah, when you go to year two, you'll be doing Nahu straight away. So I'll be giving you all the like the tools of Arabic, right? Inshallah. Right, so that you can, in a sense, with these tools, you can further uh, develop your Arabic. Okay, so Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, in doing Arabic, right? I'm going to use this as a whiteboard, that is easier. <laughs> okay. In doing Arabic, right? In studying Arabic, we have the word words. Okay, the words in the Arabic language are grouped into. Okay, basically of Arabic, it's basic Arabic. Um, I will be teaching from the whiteboard, right? So I will, I don't really use uh books for the first part because I have my own um my own ideas of what should be basic Arabic. Right? Which 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 basically I do to train the student right, to know how to become independent in searching for words themselves. Right? I mean searching for the meanings of words themselves and right? not to use Google Translate. Right? Because Google Translate so many times it will give you a very wrong uh, translation, a very off translation. Right? What you need to do is use a proper dictionary. Which I'm gonna teach you all inshallah in a uh, in, in time to come. Right, so I uh, so, uh, so basically what 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 we'll be learning in this semester is is basically tools, right? Tools of the Arabic language. So when you go on to the next semester, you are better better equipped, you know, more prepared. Then when you come across words in the Arabic language, you don't know what they mean. You are able to search them up yourselves without having to depend on a teacher, right? To get them for you. Okay, so Arabic words are of three types, right? You have ism, right? Or plural will say asma. Generally translated as nouns. Right? It encompasses more than the English understanding of nouns. It encompasses more. Okay, the next one will be fi'al. Right? Or pl uh, past, uh, plural will be af'al. Okay, ism, ismun, uh, ism, as, ma, fi'al. I when I teach Arabic, I usually like to, to sukun the last letter. I, I don't I don't actually uh agree to the method of always putting domatin on last letters. Eh? so you won't hear me say ismun fi'alun af'alun, right? Uh, because it changes. When you learn nahu, it changes. It can be af'alan, af uh, it can be fi'alan, fi'alin. It can be a lot of things. So usually when I teach, I will just sukun the last letter. So I'll, I'll stop on the last letter. Right? Fi'al, fa'al, asma, ism. Right? So harf. So you say harfun. Right? Um, uh, so when I say kitab, right? kitab. I won't say kitabun. Right? No, what I say like like, like bait or baitun. Right? I just say bait. Bait is enough. Bait. Right? Then I say baitun. Right? Because it changes. The harak, last harakat is, is changeable. Okay. So fi'al, right? it will be... Okay, uh, generally it's all verbs, right? And the last one will be harf. Harf or huruf, right? Which is basically, uh, you see prepositions. Okay, all right. So when I say ism or asma, like for example, I, I have proper nouns. Like for example, I have a uh, bait, like house, okay, or I can say, or I have a name of a person, for example, Muhammad, correct, or I can have a pointing noun, like for example, hada, this, correct. Or I can have something that is a connecting noun, like alladhi, which is which. 
Correct? Or I can have something like a pronoun such as hua. All of this I'll be giving you all in the in the time to come. Right? Hua, which is he. Okay? Right? So nouns, it can be from a thing, right? It can be the name of a person or a proper noun like Singapore, right? Singapore, Makkah, Al Medina. Right? It can be a pointing noun, this, that, hada, hazihi, ha, ula, e, right? these, and so on. And all of them I'll give you inshallah in due time. Um, alladhi, which, or allati, alladhani, allatani, and so on. And then pronouns, which is he, she, they, you, I. Right? So you can say, uh, huwa, hiya, hum, hunna, ana, nahnu. Right, then it, which, in time, which also in time I will give it to you all. Okay, for nouns, uh, we know that the the word is a noun. Usually, there is a dom, there is a by tun, or you can say by tan, or you can say by tin. They're all correct. Right, depending on which part of the sentence you are talking about. So Muhammadun, Muhammadan, Muhammadin. Right, so ala muh. So, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Right? Because ala Sayyidina Muhammadin If you say Ashadu anna Muhammadan right? Muhammadan Muhammadan Rasulullah There's a fatha there Right? So, that's all we'll learn inshaAllah in Nahu Okay Today, I'll be going to this part Let's put it in red This Okay? But we'll be adding in on Adding it Adding it on to the verb part. Alright. Um, also, right, you can put al in front. Al meaning the. Okay, al means the. So if I say al bait, okay, al bait, it means the house. Right, al just makes it that way. That's all. <laughs> right, but not, you don't say that all nouns are able to take tanwin. Of course not. Right, because, like, for example, the word hada, hada is a noun, right, but hada can't take a tanwin. Right, or there are some names that can take tanwin as well. All of these you will learn, inshallah, in the future. Right, if you right, if you ever notice that right, you've never seen the name Ibrahimun, you can never say Ibrahimun. It's wrong in Arabic language. You say Ibrahimu, you will never be a a a, a domatan. You will never be that. Okay, you will never be a, a tanwin. Okay, uh, Bismillah. Any questions? You always post on the chat. Eh? Oh, just now I saw a question. I didn't answer. What was the question on VK? Um, if you are clutching the ends of your sleeves, then you should be able to spread your fingers to it properly. Can yes, can right because when you are clutching your sleeves, right, you are doing a wajib to cover your aurat. Okay, right. So if you are you're clutching, right. So when you want to takbir, you don't lift lift your fingers. For example, lifting the fingers like this, right, to open it sunnah. No one is sunnah. Covering the aurat is wajib. Okay, so sunnah to wajib, you prioritize wajib. Because otherwise your prayer will not be, will not be valid in the first place. Okay, af'al, right, the verb. Okay, so for, for, for in Arabic, right, the verbs are of three. You see here, there are three types of verbs. But I'll put four columns. Okay, so you have al-madi. Like al Maldi meaning past tense. Maldi. You have al Mubare. Mubare. Which is present. Present as well as future. It's present as well as future tense. You have am al Amr. Amr, which is command. And you have the master. Al Master. Okay, the master is technically to show to you. It is technically a noun. It's not a verb. It's technically a noun, but I always put it together with the verbs. Uh because when you memorize the verbs, you memorize all of them. Okay, together with the master. What is the master? Let's draw like that. Okay, the mustard, you can see like the sauce. 
word. Okay, the source word. Or you can even say that it is the verbal noun. Okay, a verbal noun. What's a verbal noun? So, for example, you know, like I can say okay, about reading, eh, reading. Okay, I, if I say I am reading, present tense, right? I am reading. I, I've read it. Okay, I have read it. Past tense. Okay, read. Right? Read now. Read. Command tense. Okay, one of my hobbies is reading. Uh, one of my hobbies is reading. So, the way I'm using the word reading, I'm not using it as a present tense or a past tense or a command tense. I'm using it as if it's a, th it's a, it's a thing. Like, I love reading. My favorite thing to do, my, my, my favorite thing is reading. Right? So, it's as if I made it into an object. It becomes a noun. Okay? Oh, you're following me. Yeah? So, like, like, my, my, like I love reading or I love running or I love swimming. Uh, so, it's all not in verbal form. It's a verbal noun. Uh, it's a verbal noun. It's a noun that, is, that comes from a verb. Oh, you're following me. <laughs> okay, so, like, for example, let me show you the first example. For example, Qara'a. Read it. Qara'a. Okay? Masdar is a mudari. Yaqa. Yaqa. Ra. Yaqra'u. Qara'a. Yaqra'u. And then, command, Iqra'a. Iqra. Okay? And then the verbal noun will be Qira'a. Qira'a. Uh, if someone to say, say to you, are you doing Hefes or Qira'a? Hefes or Qira'a? Say Qira'a, forgot. Qira'a. It means, are you going to memorize or are you reciting? Or oh, I'm just doing recitation. Uh, so Qira'a, it will mean to be recitation. Like it's, it's, a, it's a noun. Recitation. It's a noun. If I say, I have recited Qira'a. I am reciting Aqra'u or Yaqra'u. Right? Uh, recite or read Iqra. Right? That is a, that is a, a, that is recitation. Kira'a. Right? So Kira'at. Eh? Kira'at will, will be the recitations. Alright. The last group here that we have are the, pre are the prepositions. So inshallah today I'm going to go through the verbs later on. Right? But for, to, to, for now an overview of the Arabic language. And I hope I'm not going too fast. <laughs> okay. Prepositions. Right, they are basically they called huruf because they usually made up of like three letters. The ma the most they are right? three of or two letters, right? And they are and they are conjunctions. They're the prepositions. They 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 join up the sentences. So like for example, right, you have fee. Okay, fee, right, can mean in. It can mean at. It can mean about. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, and, and it can have other meanings. For English, for, for for Arabic prepositions, it can have a lot of usages, a lot of meanings. So usually, I don't contain them to specific meanings only. But you open up your mind as to what the how they can be used. So fee, you have the preposition. Like for example, min. Right, min, which means in. In so not in. Uh, from. Okay, so min, from. Okay, another example will be uh, B. Like Bismillah. Okay, B. So you can say with. Okay, or other prepositions that you might that you might that you might know. I will be fi min B. Like for example, um, ala. Okay, ala. Right, so ala will be on, on or onto. Right, other preposition that you might know, uh, ila. Okay, ila is two. Okay, write it down eh, if you want to just memorize all these ones. Ila, and then uh, you might know also of prepositions. Fi min bi ala ila li. Alillahi alhamd, alhamdu lillah, li rasulillah. So it means four. For example. Alright. Um, and then another one would be an an. For example. An, an would be about. Or from. Okay. So this is basically a summary 
of the different parts of the Arabic language. Okay, are there any questions first? What time do we end? 11 eh? Okay. Alright, if there are, no, there are no questions, can I go to the next page? You all can just uh, uh, put a screenshot if you want. Okay. Okay. If you're all okay, so we're going to be doing this first today. All right. Any questions? Just raise your hand, eh? Then I will. I will admit you. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go into the verbs, right? So the verbs of the Afal. So as mentioned, right, the verbs you have, I'm going to do table form, eh? This is a straight line. Okay. Like this. And then. Two. Okay, all right. So this will be the word in. This will be al mubari, al-mawdi, mubari, al-amr. Okay. Right. So, for example, let's take a, a simple word. Eh, uh, right. Okay, the words. So, al maadi, I will be ka kataba. Like that. Okay. Mudari will be yak. Okay, ka taba. Yak to bu. Okay, amar. Okay, how do we get the amar? Okay, usually for for every word you will have a green book. Right now I cannot find my green book, but your the masjid will be giving you a green book. This green book will say daily verbs. Yes, the the, the title is daily verbs. Right, daily verbs. A person needs to know the book has I think close to twenty lessons if I'm not wrong. There are daily verbs in there as well as examples on the usage of these verbs. So these verbs place in sentence form. It's a very, very good book. Right? So it, it's a green book. It's not so big. It's about A5 size. Right? It's a very thin uh, book. The magic will give it to you. For, and I want, and then what, usually what I do with my students is that every week, they will memorize one lesson. Right? So one lesson is about 20 words in one lesson, 20 words. So if through the week, seven days, right? If through the week, you give yourself five days, for example, eh, to memorize. So 20 divided by five, you get four, correct? So which means four words per day. That's doable, correct? <laughs> Isn't it doable? Right, four words per day, one after every salad. Okay lah. And because you can't gain a language if you're not increasing in your vocabulary. And vocabulary is basically the substance of the language. You can't do language if there's no vocab for you to begin to work with. Right, so I force my students in the in Majid Halid to memorize these books and memorize the vocabulary in the book. Right, so um, can I like get any assurance from uh, on the chat? Have you all gotten the book or not? Did did the Majid say anything about the Arabic book? Can you all say in the chat? No, didn't say anything about the Arabic book. Okay, then give them a call. Give them a call. I'll, I'll text uh, the Masjid admin also like, about the Arabic, your, your Arabic books because you should be having your Arabic books. <laughs> right? So I want, okay, which, which, I, which inshallah later on I'll look for my green book. Then I'll take the picture of the first lesson. I don't want you all to miss out. So the first lesson, I'll take a picture and I'll send it out uh, to your uh, WhatsApp group and you memorize the first page, the first lesson from the screenshot. Lah. Right? So then you don't, so every week you're going to gain 20 words. Right? So, so follow the, the program. Eh? 
four words a day. Inshallah, don't don't let it don't don't miss a day. Cause you miss a day, it's gonna pile up. You're gonna have a lot of words. Right. So four words a day times five days. You are giving two days buffer. Right, because it's seven days in a week. Two days to kind of like in case you have a very busy day in you know, one of these or something like that, you know, or one day for revision, you know, whatever it is. Right, so four words a day. You can do one word after every solat, you know, and miss out, and then and you have one solat to kind of like a, be a buffer for you, you know. Subhanallah, it can be done. So if you have twenty twenty words per week, if you go through this uh this sem- semester, how many weeks do we have? We have about twenty weeks, if I'm not wrong. Or less than that, around there, twenty weeks. So if it's twenty times twenty, people ready, you <laughs> know, mashallah, right, right. Um, uh, and that's a lot, right, for you to work with the Arabic. So I hope you can keep to the pronunciation, keep to the to the program, right, and then you can increase in your in your in your, clear, in your Arabic gram in your Arabic vocabulary. Okay, the first ruling that I'm going to show you all here. I'm going to use another color, blue. Okay, is how is basically when you memorize words in Arabic, you memorize the past tense, you memorize the present tense, and you memorize the master. Right? Why not the amr? The amr is derived from the present tense. Right? What are you memorizing? You are memorizing the harakat, kataba. Right? There are Arabic words whereby we use a different color here. Right? For example, um, uh, good. Right? For example. Ha suna, right? Ha suna. The 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 central harakat can change, in its doesn't have to be fat ha. It doesn't have to be fat ha. It can change. Every word is unique, right? It can also be, for example, is green, um, right? Sha. Sha ri ba. See kasra. Okay, what you will notice is the first letter, last letter is always fatha. It's always fatha, right? The set, the, the middle letter to memorize. Shari baya shrabu, kata baya tubu. So you never say yak tabu or yak tibu. It's yak kata baya tubu. That's how you memorize. Okay. Um, let's erase this part. Because I'll recover that part first. My examples. All right. Um, okay. So you usually memorize the. Past, they will memorize the present, and they memorize the masdar. So the masdar will be al kitaba, right? So the passes will be will be wrote, right? Present tense will be writing, or write, write or writing, right? Uh, kitaba, kitaba will be the writings. The writings of so and so, kitaba to who, right? Or uh, I love writing. No, I love kitaba writing. Okay, all right. Command tense is derived from the present tense. How do you derive? The first way, move the present. Tense letter. What is the present tense letter? It is this one in front. This one. This one. The ya. All right. It can be ya. It can be a ta. It can be a thing on who's speaking. So the ya in front there is not part of the root word. Your root word is ka ta ba. That's the root word. All right. So ka ta ba yak tubu. The ya is part of the present tense, so you must remove the present tense letter first. Okay. Secondly, if second is sukun, put in alif. What is alif? So be hamza wasl. Hamza to wasl, right? So, so I take yak tubu. Okay, so now I have ya. Okay, yak, tu, bu. Okay, so the first ruling is remove the present tense letter. So I take my eraser, I remove the first one. Okay, then I look. 
Then they say if the second letter is sukun, put an alif or uh, in front or a hamza because otherwise you can't pronounce it. How do you pronounce this word? K? Like, it, it, there's no beginning. You can't you can go k like that. Right? It has to be something to the cuff. So you say okay, right? It's it's a it's a sukun to highlight it. The sukun at the front, right? So which means that I will put in. Let me draw it in. Right and alif. Okay, it's called hamdatul wasal because on top is a sword. And you all know the laws of Hamdatul Wasal, right? We've learned Tajweed. The laws of Hamdatul Wasal is that uh, if you read across it, you don't pronounce it. But if you begin on it, you have to pronounce it. And the and the harakat of the of the Hamza is dependent on the middle letter, the Ta. So Ta is Dhamma, the Hamza will be Dhamma. If it's Fatha or Kasra, it will be Kasra. Now you all have seen it in Tajweed, right? This is this, this Hamdatul Wasal. Right? It's reason is for that, right? Let's put it in. Okay, sort on top of the other alif. Okay, and then the last thing to do is is sukun last letter. Okay, so the last letter is a domma right now. I'm going to cause it to become a sukun. Okay, so now I have my uh my command tense right? so it's derived so i say uktub right because it's a middle letter is is dhamma so the first one will be a dhamma uktub okay. so kataba yaktubu uktub okay all right so inshallah we're gonna end our class inshallah soon um i will take a picture of the green book remind me if i don't give it up by today remind me i will take a picture of the green book the first page i want you all to have to memorize this so the first page will give you for there will, there will be a list of uh be, i think this is 30 30 words and not, not not 20 i think it's 30 words right so 30 words over six days okay over six days that means five per day ah uh, yeah correct so five per day then one after every solat lah right should be okay right <laughs> inshallah okay so it, um you memorize it the book will give you past present and uh masdar right so memorize it memorize these words uh together with the meanings next to it and inshallah you increase in your uh, arabic vocabulary inshallah okay um okay we'll start there for today any questions there's one question no no question okay alhamdulillah all right gonna start there for today